pitchers actually have a little bit of an advantage over the hitters because they know all of our weaknesses. They know that stuff. So we have to game plan in such a way that we know how they're gonna pitch us and we have to create a swing plane that allows the hitter to have success no matter the location of the pitch. The average time the barrel spends in the strike zone on the plane is about two and a half, about two feet, a little over two feet. Talk about, what I want to talk about now is the rotation of it, uh, what we call a, a block rotation. You know, you hear, everybody, you hear a lot of coaches talk about the hip should go first, and they probably do, I mean, slightly, but it's really tough to teach, okay, hips go, and now, now this comes. It's really tough to do. Slow this down so we can see what the rotation looks like. Foot down, heel plant, that back elbow's coming into the slot, into the rib cage. Slotting, the barrel's coming. Barrel staying back, how tight he is right there, how close the barrel is to the back shoulder. That's short to the baseball. Pulled his hands in. That's why I call it block rotation. And how efficient Cano is uh, with the block rotation in comparison to, to a young hitter. I'll show you a small difference. This kid, the kid, uh, Derek Fisher, very talented young man. He's gonna be a really good hitter. But we really need to tighten up a couple things with him. Loads different, see how steep his barrel is. Pretty erect, hands get behind him, down. He's got a little bit of a hitch. What I really want to focus in on though, when he starts his rotation, back elbow coming close to the rib cage, how his hands are out compared to Cano. Really stays tight with his hands and just lets the rotation take the barrel there. Where Derek kind of gets his hands away from him. The more your hands get away from you, your hands get away from you, the more you've got to rotate off the baseball. The more you can block rotate and just let the hands come through, the more efficient you're going to be.